Hey guys, how you doing? I hope you're all doing fine. I have missed you, my darlings. Oh my God, I have really missed you. How y'all doing? I'm doing all right. I'm doing fine. This is the first time you've seen this channel and seen this gorgeous lady. My name is Umbar and Wicked Car and welcome to our channel. Welcome back to the best YouTube channel you're gonna get in the 254 if you're a returning subscriber Karibu Karibu if you're a returning subscriber thank you so much thank you for clicking thank you for watching this video thank you yes if you're a new subscriber Karibu Karibu so this is a channel what we do travel lifestyle and story time guys if you have seen the title for the video today I'm gonna be doing a life update concerning why I have gone a little bit mere and whatnot and what has been happening in my life i'm gonna just give you a brief history of what not not really a history but just an update um concerning myself i know you can notice something about me that you something different about me guess what i sound different i have a different voice or not <laughs> and it's nothing serious about it so i'm gonna give you a story story time and this pertains to um guys i took the job yes i took covid vaccine so story story time about this um the reason i've been going mute was because i kind of what i kind of became sick a few a few weeks ago and um that's why the reason i haven't been posting mind you guys i'm so sorry but they have not been posting i've not been updating you guys about concerning what has been going on and now i'm here to just give you a little bit of a life update concerning that and um from now has for the video be dropping videos every single week every single week not not only once but i think two videos every single week so yeah so sorry sorry time um i know we've been living in times of post-covid for me and for other everybody and whatnot and um i know it's just been tough two years for everyone financially emotionally psychologically and everything like it's been difficult for most people but now right now we're trying to move past the covid phase now we're living in the post-covid times and everything and i know we're trying to recover as governments we're trying to recover the economies and whatnot for us people who lost our social lives now we're trying to recover back like make new connections with other different people and our families try to understand how they are and whatnot because covid really came as a lesson to most of us rather and others to a blessing and whatnot it just depends with you as a person so um so when covid came we were never prepared most people were never prepared like 80 percent of the people were never prepared for it and it happened and it happened and we had to move past it and we had to adapt to new changes in our lives we had to adapt to a few changes we had to do in our lives in terms of how we live and and whatnot and the past two years have been difficult for most people whatnot and also for me as well as a person and everything is it's been tough but now we thank god that we're trying to get things back on track and um i would say it's it's been a time of both blessings and also a time where we have been learning a lot of things as well so it comes to this particular point a covid is here we're trying to live by it and whatnot and a few months ago um we thank god um scientists came up with a few uh, solutions towards us living with covid and that included um, a solution for it, which became in the form of a vaccine. So, uh, in the form of a vaccine, it came and this is something that was not really highly acceptable. Not that accepted in most countries and whatnot because, uh, you know, when researchers, uh, researchers do quite some research in, some, in regards to a medical condition or medical virus or something so that affects the whole world. Uh, most people try be like, um, let me wait for it to actually get um, to a point where people have okay there, there, there has been some what is it called um evolution test concerning how does it work what the side effects and whatnot and um with with, with now of all of this um the first world countries were the first people to actually try out this vaccine and whatnot it's been working for a couple of people and whatnot so we came to our country i am in kenya and came to our country a few months ago and this was something that was introduced by the government like it's kind of solution for 
um, the COVID and everything just to avoid you getting the COVID. And if you have ever had the COVID before, it's like a preventive measure for you. Okay, It's like a preventive measure that we have to have moving on forward with our lives, you understand? So that we avoid any other instance of having another second phase of COVID or whatnot. Because it really affected most people's lives and other people who even lost their family members, which I'm so sorry for that. And others who... It affected them and they have never been the same and I understand that. Um, so COVID came, we have the vaccine now. So um, this is something that's been going on in our country for quite some while. And the government is trying to um, emphasize on the, the need for more citizens to actually get the vaccine. So maybe being one part of the citizen of local Kenyan, I'll be like, ah, I'll take that thing later on after all. To what we do, like people have been vaccinated or whatnot. So at first I was really ignorant about it. And then second of all, I was like, um... I've had side effects about this particular vaccine and um one you know that there are myths and misconceptions in the society of containing this particular vaccine and that's why in kenya um it has not been really much embraced like we can even have like even less than 10 percent of the whole population in kenya who have had that vaccine because most people are still speculating on the effects and the side effects for this particular one because you know um when you get a vaccine for a particular virus or something a virus that it's like having induced getting vaccine like having the virus in your body induced in your body also with an antidote as well so most people will be like ah the kind of issues concerning the vaccine so myself i'm part i was part of it um before i even took the first dose of the job so for me being the fact that i did not really much interact with so many people as well and the people really interacted with the people who i think i kind of knew their status in terms of the covid status and whatnot so i kind of felt safe until one particular time, I'm like, ah, let me just go home and visit my peeps. You know, the way you can actually be like, ah, I need to go and say hi to my parents and whatnot and see how they're doing and everything. So I was like, um, yeah, let me just go home. So this particular time, I go home on a weekend and then I go home and then we're having this discussion at home. Um, my dad and my mom and be like, eh, have you heard about this vaccine? Are you ready for it? Whatnot, whatnot. So the person of all talking about all it, my dad tells me, I've had the vaccine. Have you even had the full dose of the vaccine? I'm like, what? Uh -huh. So tell me what's water effects and whatnot and whatnot. I would be like, um, mm, it's all that bad. It's good for you to get the vaccine. You know, it's a preventive measure for you. Um, especially when you go out with your traveling and whatnot. I was like, yeah, makes sense. But I was still issues about getting the vaccine and getting the first dose because I was like, ah, this thing, most people are not embracing it. That means it's not something like it's medically okay for everyone because, um, I've had reviews from people who be like, um, this vaccine you get to you get this you get this job you start feeling some type of way and i was very skeptical about it so the kind of people who have to wait the last minute kind of people who have to wait until the government like emphasizes on it like it's a must so for me this particular time mom also tells me i've ever had my first job for the moderna vaccine i was like mm, okay makes sense and then me the fact that um i'd say this um during that COVID time i, I would I've seen people close to me losing a lot of people, like their loved ones and everything. It really made me so sad about it. I was like, oh, this virus just robbed people, their loved ones and everything. And I know it can be really crazy. And I can say I was fortunate enough not to get the COVID vaccine when it was really, a uh, COVID virus when it was really that bad. I thank God for that. Uh, and I've seen people in pain. I've seen people, I even had a very close friend of mine who had a dad who got COVID. And I could see the struggle, the financial struggle, you know, even the psychological struggle, even going, having to check out on somebody who's really sick. They are loved ones of you, like, they are loved ones, but you cannot really take care of them because you have the fear of even getting contracted with the same thing virus. And it's something that I know can be really draining, especially when it comes to your loved ones and everything. And I know it's just crazy. So for me, um, when I had my dad and my mom got the job, my dad had already even cleared his first, he, he cleared his already job, both the first and the second one. I was like, mm, why not? I started having having a thought about it. I was like, um, when by it's time we start thinking about this thing, particularly very serious about it. And I was like, um, I'll give it a thought. But before that, I was like skeptical. I was like, mm -mm, no, I'm not getting this job. No, I'm not getting this job. You understand? The way last minute Kenyans, I know Kenyans can really relate to this particular thing. We are always last timers when it comes to most things. And right now, this is the time where the Ministry of Health is sanitizing about this kind of thing. Like, we we need to go and get the job. We need to go and get a job. We need to get, get a job. Because right now, till now, as Kenyans are still wearing masks, and, and people in the U.S. are no longer wearing masks because most of them are vaccinated. 
So, um, one of the things that the government uh, used to say is like, if you want to get to a point where we don't want to wear masks, masks anymore, we're going to have to get vaccinated and we have to get to a specific percentage of population of the whole people for us to stop wearing masks and going back to our lives normally. Because right now, you go, when you travel to international countries, most time, you're required to actually get um, a COVID test that you, that shows you're negative. In other countries, they require you to have, like in, in the States, you're required to actually have right now, you, you're required to have a COVID certificate that shows you have been vaccinated. Because most of the people, percentage of most people, like 50% in the US, people have been vaccinated. So in, in, in countries like Canada and that world countries is where we, we're trying to adapt to the system of getting vaccinated or whatnot. So um, I'm home. I'm having left and right conversations from my dad and my mom, you know, plus people from you who try and convince you to get the job. I was like, okay, it makes sense. Then my dad would be like, um, come to think about it, our healthcare center around here, you can actually go and get a job anytime. Like there's no, there's no queue for people who actually want to get the job. And that makes sense because Kenyans are the kind of people who have to wait until last minute. So be like, um, he made a proposition. I'm going to take you there. I'm gonna I'm gonna volunteer and take you. I was like, mm, makes sense. It's just a job. And then I was like, it's just a job. For the more, it's a preventive measure for me, so that anytime I want to travel, I don't have to have restrictions of traveling because I've not been vaccinated. You understand? Because I have future endeavors of traveling internationally, and um, I felt I can be restricted to actually go to this particular countries because I'm not vaccinated. Uh, and I was like, um, yeah, it's a good it's a good opportunity for me to get vaccinated before it gets too late. So I was like, fine. So early the following morning, being the fact that we talked about this on a Sunday, um, the following morning on a Monday, my dad would be like, yeah, are you still up for the job? I was like, yeah, well, it's just a job after all. Because my dad had it and he's over over 50 something and he's he's okay, he's doing fine. Why should I, why should I not get to a position where I can get a job? So on the Monday morning around, we leave the house at around 9 a.m. in the morning. And then he'd be like, is this like, at that it's like a 15 minutes place to from our place to the healthcare center so my dad drives we get in the car we drive we get to the, to the healthcare center and funny enough there's no queue for people and funny enough there, uh, for the government place where to actually get the um the vaccine there's no queue funny enough i had like two people in front of me when i actually got there and it was around nine nine thirty or something nine ish and funny thing I'm going to tell you guys before you get you embark on a particular thing, by the way, it's good for you to make your own research containing this particular thing that you want to do. Because for me, I relied on information that I was told by very close people, in, especially in my family, you understand? I did not make my own research pertaining what, does, what are the side effects for the vaccine, how do you feel after that, and whatnot, whatnot. And I'm going to explain why. It's only in the video. The reason why I'm saying this is because I went with information relied to from people who are very close to me. I'm not saying it was impulse information, but I'm saying I wish I had done my research better to actually identify, okay, these are the effects and the, and the pros and cons of having the vaccine and whatnot. Because afterwards, I had an experience that I didn't really like after I got the, ex the vaccine. I'm not saying to say the vaccine was, really, was bad, but I'm just trying to say... For anyone who's thinking about getting a job, it's good for you to actually go and do your own research and get to understand the types of vaccines that is available in your country, in your, in your health healthcare center, and what the effects that can actually have because people's immunities are different. His immunity can be different, my dad's immunity can be different, mine can be different, my, my mom's can be different. So the side effects can be, can diff, be can differ in, in, okay, regarding to somebody's body and whatnot. And for me, um, I had an experience. So here I get, I didn't know anything about it. I just, I just know there is a vaccine for COVID. I didn't really know the details for it until I actually got vac vaccinated and I've had the side effects after that. So that's why I came to realize there's Johnson and Johnson, there's Moderna and there's AstraZeneca. So we get to this healthcare center, um, which is like 15 minutes from our place. Uh, we get there, there's no queue. There are like two guys ahead of me. So um, my dad told me, carry your ID because they require ID for for um registration and whatnot so i was like okay fine so i got there two guys ahead of me and then the queue just went really quickly after just got that like five minutes i was next in line so i got to this particular healthcare office um the one that had set around for the covid vaccine and when i get that there's a there, there are two ladies like two nurses one who's doing the registration and they are your name 
uh, your ID number and what do they ask you for your details and whatnot. They fail in the system. Um, I think the, the government system or the Ministry of Health system, whatever it is, um, you get that and then you get to the next nurse and then you'll be like, uh, is it your first dose? I was like, yes. Um, fun enough, when I was sitting there with that particular nurse, I don't know why it didn't even hit me to even ask, what kind of vaccine are you inducing in my body? You understand? Like, I think I was so ignorant about this particular thing. I just thought it's just a normal vaccine. It's just a normal vaccine that everyone is getting. I didn't know the varieties of vaccines, like three vaccines, Johnson & Johnson, AstraZeneca, and then there's the Moderna. I was like, I just, I just sat there like a dumb, like I was dumb and sat there and I lifted my, my, I had, I had some blouse or something or so I just lifted it and then she just injected something. Funny enough, I didn't even know which vaccine she injected in my body. And then later on, I just left and she was, I asked her, that's it? And we said, yeah. And then she told me, oh, hold up. Um, so now you're going to go and get, uh, once you get home or whatever you're going, just ensure you take enough water. And then when you feel a slight kind of headache. Just get some painkillers for it. I was like, oh, good. It's no big deal, you know? It's not a big deal. So now we live like the gangster I am. I left the office. And my dad was sitting outside. He'd be like, yeah, are you okay? And I'm like, yeah, fine. Let's go home. So we get home. And my dad was like, uh, before I even left the premises, they left the health center. I got a message that, um, congratulations, Ava, for receiving your first dose of AstraZeneca, Oxford stroke AstraZeneca. Are your next due appointment which will be in December, blah, 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 blah. And what I was like, oh, cool. They told, and then my dad was like, have they told you of uh, when you're going back? I was like, yeah, yeah, it is. And then I asked my dad, by the way, how are the side effects for this particular thing? He'd be like, uh, you're going to have some slight headache and whatnot. I was like, ah, that's cool. And then he asked me, what has the nurse told you at all? I told him, um, the nurse just told me to, to take a lot of water, like huge intakes of water and have some painkillers just in case I had a slight headache. So I was like, ah, that's fine. Get in the car and go back home. I was fast. I was fast. I was like, ah, me, I'm good. This vaccine, you know, you know the way how you usually feel as a young person, you feel like, ah, me, I'm strong and one all. My body is okay. Then my dad told me, don't you just that much because I had some effects after I got, I got the vaccine. And then he was like, which kind of vaccine did you get? And then got, I told him, I've seen it being written AstraZeneca. And so I was like, I also had the same vaccine, but your mom had Moderna. And uh, she didn't have something, but for me, with AstraZeneca, I had some kind of side effects up to it. I was like, mm, okay. Yeah, I'm, I, I, and I told him, I know, you know, for you, you are a bit older, so probably that's why you had some effects to it. Then I, and then you'd be like, um, don't you just have my little girl? I was like, ah, relax. You know, my body, I've never had, like, I know for somebody, for, for somebody who's younger, never had, like, history for chronic diseases you always be like ah my body's okay you understand I me mean, i'm not like you you hey i'm not like you and whatnot i was like i'd be like mm, that's how it fix to it but it's good you just got a job and whatnot i was like ah, yeah i'm good we get home few hours past few hours past i got home i drank like almost like almost like a liter of, of water and i just took something killer just in case because i was like ah this is just something but you just tell everyone you understand and that's something that I realized. And that's the reason why we're having this conversation today. So I feel I was past, I got this vaccine at around, around 9.30 or heading towards Danish. The whole day I went home, the whole day I was fine until around 7. 7 p.m. So at 7 p.m. I started feeling some type of way. You know, the way you start feeling, ah, it's getting cold. Let me get some, some warm things to actually wear and everything so i thought probably just no more cold in the evening or whatnot because back at home it's kind of it's kind of it was kind of cold and had and we had this kind of weather that it seems like it's just about to rain so i thought oh, just a normal environment and whatnot i started feeling some type of and then i started wearing like the warm warm uh i started having like this warm jacket and whatnot but at some point it's heading on at around 7 30 i started feeling some type of like i'm feeling uh, <laughs> It's, I'm, I'm getting chilly and whatnot, like I'm feeling really extremely cold, I'm, I'm shivering, and then all of a sudden I start feeling some type of like nauseatic and everything, I was like, what's going on, like man, what's going on, I was like, hmm, now this is the side effects, it's starting to catch up with me, and I'm like, ah, blah, that's nothing, you understand, so I start feeling some type of way, something I've never felt before, like, the fever started rising, I started having feeling like the fever is getting to me and something of a sort. You know how you can actually feel like you're sick and you started having some sort of fever. And that fever makes you feel, ah, 
you you kind of have some distress moment and whatnot. You feel it. Mm-mm, mm, I'm not feeling okay. And then, and then in the first of it, also having that slight headache. Why are you feeling? Eh, why am I feeling sick from having a slight headache? It's like a headache. Yani kicho yombali unomana kicho from a distance. You understand? And all of a sudden now, with now the fevers are feeling nauseated, like really nauseated, and everything. I've been eating. I've been okay the whole day until it got to around seven, seven p.m. 7 p.m. 7 30 i'm feeling some type of and i tell my mom oh, i'm not feeling okay then you'd be like probably it's it's because of the aftermath of the medicine or not the vaccine why don't you take some painkillers and you'll be fine then i took the painkillers and i was i i, I took the painkillers i was like okay fine this is just something that's it's just a little do something you know <clears throat> 7 30 8 i'm still feeling the type of way and as time goes by the symptoms and the effects i get worse they get worse man I'm feeling a hey. now the nausea becomes so bad. I'm 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 spitting out. You understand? I'm spitting out. I'm feeling ish. Why am I feeling like this now? Like I start puking, the temperatures goes high, and then I always carry like a clinical thermometer, like a small clinical thermometer. I usually have it. I got it from a friend of mine who um who's a nurse who gave me some while ago. So I took the clinical thermometer, the small. It's just the ones that you. It's like a pin pocket that you can put in your pocket. This stupid in pocket, and then I put it on my under, and my temperature was around thirty seven point five. I was like, wait a minute, no temperature goes to 30, 30, oh, 36 to thirty seven degrees. It is currently thirty seven point five, and it's not going any time down. Like I'm feeling now the heat. Now it's not even feeling cold. It's not the heat. The fever is getting to me. I'm feeling some type of way. Like the headache is becoming. Oh God, it's becoming worse and worse and worse. Eight is here, nine is here. Hey, and I'm like, why this thing is getting bad? And then my dad was like, I told you, you're gonna feel some type of way, but I hope it's not that serious. And then I told him, um, I don't felt like this in a very long time. I'm not the kind of person who gets sick that often, so having to feel this feeling, you're like, mm, I don't feel okay, man. And you can already really explain why you're not feeling okay, but you're like, why all of a sudden am I feeling? this type of way and i'm the kind of person who listens to my body because if i i'm the kind of person i don't get sick that often but if i do i know where like i know the cause for it like i know i listen to my body because i tend to feel if you don't listen to your body how you're feeling and you don't feed your body what your body wants that it's gonna work against you you understand because you need your body you need the wholeness of your body to be okay for you to function appropriately so for me, I feel I, I imagine I'm not feeling okay. And then I saw, told my mom, she was around 9, 30, 10 ish. I told her, hey, the way I'm feeling, I'm not feeling okay. I am puking purposefully. I'm sweating, like the fever is going up. And then even go to a point, even go to 38 degrees. I was like, ah, ah, why am I feeling like this now? And that's the reason why we're having this conversation today because I tend to feel there's something we really need to talk to. It's like we need to talk as individuals because of the government okay fine we're in an era where we the government's telling us to get this vaccine and whatnot but with the astrazeneca okay after having this experience this is when i've had reviews from a couple of people who tell me oh i also got astrazeneca and i did not have a really good feeling others even went for symptoms and head effects we were in a couple of days and whatnot for me it went for a whole week so that day goes by i try and sleep i'm not trying to get some sleep and then i since i'm having this headache and i'm having this fever it makes me feel like i cannot even gain sleep i'm feeling the minute i just lie my head down i'm feeling dizzy like dizzy at the same time i'm feeling i cannot really sleep i'm feeling like the world is revolving around my head right now like you know the way you can actually have aftermath for having a hangover the way you can just put lay you down uh, you can put you can lay your head to rest and then you're feeling this type of way like a really bad feeling you know it's like you want to puke you don't want to puke the, it's massive headache from both sides of your head. Eh, it went on for that particular time, for that evening. So I took those painkillers at some point, I think, later on in the night at around 12, that's when I started regaining sleep. Even after that process a couple of hours of feeling very, uh, very low and whatnot. Eh, so I kind of got some sleep. And then the following day, I wake up, I'm, I'm thinking, I'm going to be fine. I'm still feeling the same. So now it even became worse because I started having these tonsils, like these tonsils. I started having tonsils all of a sudden. And I was like, why am I even having tonsils? I'm not even taking something cold. So the tonsils now started going on. I started having like 
congested chest i started feeling i i'm not okay that's the second day the third day and then the third day i was like i really need to go to the hospital and, and and really get to understand what is this like what is this why am i feeling like this um on that day start feeling some tap away i'm having a really bad flu i'm having like congested i like i had a bad flu i had congested like my, my chest was congested in a, in a certain way that i was gasping for air like the cough i said even coughing so prosperously really bad that's a three day three day four day five then we'll be like uh, uh this thing is too much and then on as the days went by i started getting better and better and better my point is for this particular video is um i think uh with the, all the sanitizers that we have in from the government and uh, and ministry of health and whatnot for us to get the vaccine i think it's 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 fair enough for the government to also give us information regards to the effects and the side effects for all this vaccines because i tend to feel after i've had that experience i shared with a couple of friends of mine they'll be like i also went through the same case of thing and 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 people especially with the astrazeneca dose the oxford or the, the oxford stroke astrazeneca dose most people are complaining about it in regards to it had kind of some side effects to them and and whatnot side feelings some type of way your body is weak and whatnot and not to say that people's immunity are bad but I tend to feel the government has a responsibility to its citizen to actually tell us the effects and how like how it's gonna react to different people and you know after i've had that, that job is when i had time to actually google and see the after effects for effects that was gonna happen to okay one in ten ten a hundred not ten people in like a hundred people or whatnot and i think the fact that the government is trying to, to emphasize on us as a citizen in kenya to get the job it's also important for them to give us like mass education concerning this particular vaccines because i tend to feel that's the reason why most kenyans are not up for the task to actually go and get vaccinated to get and get the vaccine because they don't know they don't have information concerning it whatever gets in the internet will not be something that is really cannot be something that be true we cannot rely on that 100 percent. but we expect your government as a citizen me as an individual and as the rest of the other people it's it's their mandate to tell us as much as they're going to emphasize on us to get in the job um it's also good for them to actually tell us and give us a proper education concerning why is the reason why we should get this job and why should we emphasize on getting the job for our own preventive measures i know this is a preventive measure that you can take on an individual level but at the same time i tend to feel being the government the fact that emphasizing this and that doing this vaccines for free in public hospitals because most of them are done in public hospitals there's a need for them to give us education like to give us knowledge about this particular vaccines because this after effect that people are experiencing right now the kind of things that people are spreading and telling other people to not get this vaccine because you i felt this way and that's the reason why we're not getting the numbers that you want in terms of getting the vaccine and that's why we're not progressing in the country because we're not trying to move past now the covid because people are not and are not willing to adapt to now getting the vaccine because I saw when I had those effects for like a week or something of a sort. I would tell my friend, do not go and get the vaccine because I had this effect. One, one because I did not know what the effects for this vaccine is. All we're being told and all we hear in the news and the TV is go and get the job, go and get the job. But we're not being told the background information about it. You understand? Like countries in the US have seen, uh, they give you varieties for these particular doses. And for like the medical centers that most of them that you actually go, you find one vaccine is not available. So you have, if you have to take the vaccine, you have to take this particular one. And some people have different uh, opinions regarding to all these vaccines. I tend to feel it's it's the mandate of the government to give us information in regards to these jobs. However, as much as it's a personal, it's a personal um situation for you to get information concerning it. But at the same time, I think the government should be in a better position to uh, to educate us in on the effects and on uh, the pros and cons for this particular vaccine so that they, we are able to have knowledge about it not just to inform to to emphasize on something that people do not know about it like mass education is very important for people who especially things when it comes to medical medical fields and everything because we tend to understand our medical our medical society our medical department and society as a country was really crumbled when we had this covid because one did not have 
the knowledge for this particular thing we don't have resources and everything i don't feel the point we are as a country right now we have the resources for us in terms of educating us we have what is like Camry. we have medical boards that do research and everything who have knowledge and information concerning this vaccines um this is not to discourage anyone from getting the vaccine go please and get the vaccine go and get the jab because it's going to help you in terms of um prevent yourself from getting the virus or whatnot or, or trying to lower you the risk of getting the virus there's no this is not a video to actually discourage anyone from who's going to willing who's going to get the job but this is a, a video to just um emphasize on, on 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 the need for us to have knowledge of of now the vaccines and the and, and the vaccines and the type of vaccine that we have in kenya because I tend to feel I, as an individual, was ignorant enough not to know what I am getting injected in my body. And that's why I had those side effects and we don't really understand where I'm having all this because I do not have the knowledge. So I tend to feel for the masses of people who cannot have information, who cannot have reach of information, either from the internet or whatnot, it's important for the government to have in, um, these measures of educating people on the need for us to have these vaccines. We can do it the same way they do it, voter registration from the ground level. It's inform it's It's very important for them to actually have this um um mass education to people in the various level like from the chiefs now from now the district commissioners from the counties from the healthcare centers because these healthcare centers that people do visit every single day is when we can actually get information about the medical reports and what we need to do as a country so that to move on past covid you understand and um yeah i've had i had those effects <coughs> and i'm glad i'm doing okay now with the chest congestion is well brought uh brought up with the fact that now my voice kind of changed and whatnot and right now i'm getting better i thank god not to say it was part of the COVID thing but i tend to feel the fact the after effects that i had of having the vaccine was part of the reason why i kind of felt sick and i kind of became sick i could not do content and whatnot i'm not blaming anyone i'm just trying to say it's important for you as a person as an individual to take uh responsible measures to actually get information concerning what you want to do especially when it comes to medical fields and everything related to medical that um right now that we living in the COVID times that we are uh, the government is trying to emphasize on us to get the COVID vaccine so yeah that's my first experience with the first job for astrazeneca i'm not trying to say astrazeneca is bad i'm just trying to say um before you get the jab please get your information right please get get your facts right because i did not and it costed me a lot because i tried to say that things i just do that particular time but i couldn't do because i was sick uh and i'm not trying to say this um astrazeneca is a bad vaccine it's a good one it just depends with you and your immunity and everything um it has different effects to different people however but according to the research and and the reviews i've even seen from online most people are complaining about the astrazeneca I don't know it's, it's it's a high dosage or whatnot, but I try to feel it has had most effects on most people who have had that job compared to Moderna. My mom had Moderna and she did not have any effects. Myself, I had effects. My dad had effects. And I tend to feel different vaccines work different differently in different people. And um, the point for this particular one is just a life update concerning um, now I took the job. And they fell for the job and whatnot. And uh, for those who are planning to actually go for the job, please go and visit your medic, uh, your nearest medical center, and get a job. And before you even get a job, please uh, get to understand which particular job you're getting. Because for me, I didn't even know until that particular time I left that particular health center. That's when I'm seeing a text. Oh, Eva, congratulations for getting your first dose on AstraZeneca, stroke, Oxford stroke, AstraZeneca vaccine. You know. It's good you get your facts straight and you also go and get a vaccine because um, we're gonna get to a point where us as a country we, we the things you will not be able to access especially in the government level um or even traveling for people who are planning to travel people who have relatives or they, they plan to go outside the country that you cannot go without having now the certificate for the job anyway guys that was up for it there was just a life update concerning um now i took the job the astrazeneca job and the effects i had for it and whatnot and I'm hoping, and I'm scheduled for another particular, the final dose on this in December, or this particular year, around 20 something in December. I think it stays for like two, uh, I was given like um, two weeks, no, two months, sorry, two months before I get the next job. 
I've got Moderna. I hear there's uh, my mom told me that she got like I think a month or something of so. So I don't know how this vaccine usually work. However, the case, um, I don't know for sex when anyone to actually go and get a jump for people. I know right now we are. Uh, the, the president just uplifted the curfew so i know right now the movement in terms of movement sustentation is we go back to normal but at the same time for you and for you also for your family for your loved ones please go and get the job for your own safety at the same time be careful with how you interact with people i uh, still wear your masks um still also um use your sanitizers whenever you go please don't shake hands don't hug until you you okay I know it's difficult to do that to do that especially with our loved ones but get just get to a point where you have to take self precautionary measures for your own safety and for also because we don't want to lose you just because of ignorant behavior that you can you okay you can you want to take like hugging people or shaking hands um because you never know who's infected and who's not so yeah so that was my experience with AstraZeneca with the first dose of AstraZeneca and um I'm hoping the second dose is going to be okay um and anyone who's wants to go and get a job please go to your local medical center and get a job yeah and comment down below if uh if you had the vaccine just comment down below have you had any effects concerning it um what were your fears concerning the jobs and whatnot what have your experiences with even your family and friends however the case for those who've had moderna for for those who've had moderna please comment down below tell me moderna and how the effects for moderna for those who've had johnson and johnson please comment down below because i hear johnson and johnson is only one one particular vaccine just one dose uh for astrazeneca and moderna it's two doses so comment down below and tell me what are your effects have you had the vaccine if yes just comment below and say yes uh for those who've had those different vaccines comment down below uh, have you had effects after that are you okay are you okay uh did you did you have effects or you're just perfectly okay i think this this things just depend on someone's immunity or whatnot but i've not had any I've, myself i've never had any chronic diseases so i was wondering why i'm having those effects but um right now i'm doing okay and i'm doing all right so i'm gonna get back to doing now contents on a daily or daily on a daily i'm gonna be doing videos now expect a travel video expect new and exciting contents coming your way and don't forget and do it guys before i forget thank you for 2800 subscribers road to 3000 subscribers yes guys let's get to 3000 subscribers let's get our channel to monetization yeah road to monetization and yes guys i'm doing okay and i'm thank you for the concerns and and thank you for the love for the support <coughs> those have been liking my videos sharing and commenting down below and subscribing thank you guys i love you 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 guys yes thank you for the love and the support and for my team and myself we thank you thank you for the love and the support and uh, we cannot do this do this without you and um we promised new and exciting content that's why i was not shooting that's why i was not doing any content and guys sorry for that but now we're back again we are okay full of good health and yes by the way, guys, before I even forget, um, from Mumbai and the team, Mumbai channel, we are open for business in terms of any, any brand promotions or any companies or any particular small individual companies or individuals who want to work with us, either who wants to do, um, we are open for advertisement in our channel. We are open for any particular business, any promotions that you want to do, any sanitization for product sanitization that you want to do with our channel. We are open for business and I'm going to link down below my email address down below. I'm going to link my Instagram below as well. If you want to reach us, if you want to do a collab for YouTubers and for also content creators who want to have um, a collab with me. Um, I'm going to link down my Instagram and my email, by the way. Uh, just in case you wanna you wanna have a collab and be like oh boy yeah uh i'm the kind of freelance um content creator who's open for collabs with other content creators i know i tend to believe it's an exchange exchange program where we exchange audiences and we get to to explore more things i'm open for any kind of exploration in terms of any content i'm down for it just i'm gonna link down my instagram and my my email email address below <coughs> sorry guys comment um dm me for any collabs any business any individual who wants to do marketing and affiliate marketing now in our channel we're open for business our rates are affordable and yes guys it's been good it's been real and thank you guys for watching this video till the end i love you guys and i'm gonna see you in the next video adios and i love you mm. bye disclaimer guys this is just a personal experience concerning the job this is not um, an opinion. Uh, this is not an opinion expressed 
for a group of people or whatnot. This is an opinion related to how um, the effects I had for after after I got the job. This is a personal opinion from myself, from Borongo Kidkora. And this is not to discourage anyone from getting the job or doing anything whatsoever. But this is just an opinion, like an, an opinion of, a, of, of a, an experience I had after getting, after getting the job. So, um, don't feel discouraged to actually go and get a job. Please go ahead and get a job in your local healthcare center. And this is just my experience and I tend to feel everybody has their own different experiences as well. So, yeah. This is just a um, um, personal opinion from my own um, from my own experience. So, yeah. Don't get, uh, don't, don't be afraid to actually go and get a job. Please go and get it uh, for your own preventive measures and also uh, for your families and friends. But also encourage them to go and get them. And, yeah. This is just a personal opinion.